<laughs> so much to worry about. customer service. Nobody What's, say they're not doing a great job. Five stars. What's going on here? <laughs> What's going on here? Nothing. Everything is exactly as advertised. You have come to a tree lot of live trees. Mm hmm. How live? <laughs> to, to, find, to find your perfect pine tree. Yep. This is a lot of these trees, man. Long, <laughs>
I also talked to something in a box that wants a pine tree for the Christmas tree. Because you don't, you weren't brave enough to open said box. I wasn't gonna open the box. <laughs> Hell no. Yeah. Not. We gotta be friends first. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I gotta be. You know. Oh, let's see. We found out that apparently bathrooms are an extremely treacherous place. Uh, I can bleed. And cookies are an absolutely amazing thing, especially when you don't understand how you got them, really. And Janet is extremely patient. <laughs> Plus, we managed to piss off a significant proportion of the world reindeer population and brought them all here to discuss said pissed offedness. So we... And yeah. Sarah. Looking at you. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, we went to the mall yesterday looking for more Christmas decorations. Um, especially we were in search of stuff like trees. We needed, we needed a tree. Um, and many other things that Janet saw fit for the holidays. Many, many things. So many things. Like all the so things. So many things. It's <laughs> a season. Mm -hmm. Yep. And, uh... Sarah also found out that she can bleed from things that can apparently cut through a ghost. There, there are tears. There, there are tears. <laughs> there are tears of spirits. It would seem. Who yep. knew? Not Sarah. Oh. <laughs> uh. So assume we were summarily kicked out of the mall. <laughs> Uh, let's see here. And socials, Discord. If you're not part of our Discord community, please come join us over on the Discord. Uh, we now have signups open for the first season of 2024. Uh, so if you want to play in Werewolf the Apocalypse, uh, oh my god, X Men style game, ran in masks, Excelsior, that's the name of it. Oh. And, um,. And uh, for goddamn freaking Call to Arms, a uh, Highlander game ran by Jenna Thieves. Those are the games that you can sign up for. So please hop over to the Discord, find it in the announcements, and fill that boy out. YouTube, if you're not already subscribed, liking, etc., on YouTube, please do so. Uh, it helps us drive those numbers up, etc., etc., etc. Like, dislike, comment, subscribe, watch funny shorts of things that get cut out of these episodes. Or some things that are just so hilarious they say in the episode and get made a short. And of course, Patreon. Patreons have a whole wide array of things. All Patreon money goes back into the channel, but it is used for things like awesome merch that we send to our Patreons. It goes to uh, buying of books, buying storage space. It gets you all kinds of fun things for ranging from credits in the YouTube videos to merch to free chat redeems to uh, slots in games depending on how I or you know making stuff for the games to mess with people if you go out that the highest tier uh, we did recaps we did our social media shout outs and well we will begin you are ushered out of the mall via mall security after <laughs> after some of you snuck into some of the the mall christmas decorations and one of you kind of actively destroyed it getting things out of said christmas decorations what were those things we got out why well, that would be eno Gino, and sarah <laughs> uh important question yeah do i have my stuff oh yeah you paid for your stuff. You didn't steal I anything. Did. They're not going to confiscate yeah. it. You did only get to two stores, though. Well, no, you got the three. Because there's Yankee Candle, Hallmark, and then you were in Bath and Body Works before. Give me a sniff on her. Before that. Uh, Best of sniff. After that, it was Bed Bath and the Great Beyond. Mm -hmm. So we went there. Mm -hmm. We saw the reindeer. <laughs> You were ushered out. There, there is the, the guy standing there ringing the bell, who some of you went looking for earlier and then found yourself in a nightmarish Christmas hellscape. Yep. I, give I have, him the I have one of the carts. <laughs> yeah. I have enlisted help with others. 
handful. We're gonna stuff a few quarters in there. Thank you so much, guys. We really appreciate it. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Everyone had a great time. <laughs> Did you did you find everything you were looking for? We, we need to get a Christmas tree. Yeah, oh, yeah and that's the next stop. Mm -hmm. yeah, need to get a pine one. Not not a fur. Got it. Not a mm -hmm. fur. Yes, fur mm -hmm. pine. Where did you two boys go? We tried to find the gentleman right there. And then I don't know. Things were kind of wacky. It was someplace snowy, made of snow, and heavily populated with reindeer. I believe it may have been somewhere in Norway. Canada? Brad, you don't, don't eat much sugar, do you? Brad, don't forget to roll your thing, by the way. Oh, that's right. Yes. Um, it's all Santa Claus again. That's it, fun. No. Good I? You know, he's uh, all over the place around here. Man on the day. throne. Sarah, is, is, do what? I need to have Dollar. more sugar? Get three holds. Nice. I think you've had enough. How many cookies did you eat here? Some. Okie doke. You're a grown angel. I'm not going to tell you what to do. Hey. As you guys are making your way back towards Janet's minivan, you will notice that there seems to be a uh, paper advertisement stuck under every every windshield wiper on every car. I grab it. <laughs> going to read it now. Do you grab the one off Janet's car or just the first car you happen across? Janet's car. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, Janet's car has two, a green slip of paper and a red slip of paper. Which one are you reading first? Ooh, ooh, uh... Green means go, so we're gonna go with that one. Go with green. <laughs> uh, it's folded, you open it up, and there's like the brim of a Santa hat, like the white fluffiness, and a pair of like menacing eyes, and the bridge of a nose. And underneath it is, underneath this image is, he's watching you. Well, duh. <laughs> okay. Are you sharing that? <laughs> then I go for the red one. And the red one uh, is a last minute Christmas tree lot pop up <gasps> on the edge of town. All kinds of live trees. I hand that to Janet. <laughs> the, the tree one? Yeah, the tree one. Oh, but look at this. Isn't that great? <laughs> We needed a tree. Here's some trees. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Everything is coming up, Janet. Hey, Matt. Yeah. Um, I look around. Does anybody else have both a red and a green on their uh, windshield? Everyone else, no. But there are a number of cars that do. Okay. And I will hand the green one over to Gino, though. <laughs> I tend to give Gino all the weird shit that I find. Yep. <laughs> I'm gonna go I'm back to just shoulder. shoving merch into the back of my minivan. Shoveling goods. What? What's Shoveling as well. Do that by herself. <laughs> Take a quick glance at it. Of course he is watching. <laughs> Slide it in. My coat. Help did you find? Yep. That seems to quite ominous. Were there right? coupons? Nah, just, just a message. Santa Claus is watching. Oh. As everyone knows. Ho, ho, ho. Yeah. <laughs> do, do, do. Helping Janet, Janet, Janet you're not going to be able to get everything into the minivan <laughs> in its normal configuration. You're going to have to, like, put down the back bench or something. <laughs> Someone might yeah. have to walk home. <laughs> oh, well, that's not happening. Hmm. Do you need help storing things? No. No? 
<laughs> How many tree skirts do you think we actually need? Hmm. What trees One? we get? Well, I don't know, How maybe two. Hmm. Hmm. Does it need a change in skirts? I don't normally see the rest of trees. Per tree, at least. How, how much overage is there as I, like, take the bags of broken candles back out? I don't know, you did buy one of everything in Hallmark. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to focus on the Hallmark. I'm going to get as much Hallmark in there as I can. Okay. Putting stuff Maybe on a lap. bag or two from Yankee and Bath and Body Works. And then I'm just gonna go down the line of cars, leaving a bag of stuff on top of <laughs> random cars. Random presents for random cars. Merry Christmas. One way to do it. <laughs> I don't even really remember going to those stores, so it's right. probably fine. And then we'll I'll, have I'll a get weird back. time at the mall. Oh, it was a good time. Till I lost most everybody and found Sarah in a present. Merry that Christmas. That was weird. You wanted. That was weird. Well, hey man, I didn't of course climb I want enough. Sarah. Don't be silly. Who wouldn't want a piece of this? <laughs> All sass and confidence. Just Reminds me weird. of me as a young one. <laughs> yeah. But the fist fight a dough boy, so. Yeah. It's not a nice thing to call somebody. Well, I started cleaning the dough off my hammer. It was what? A... What dough? Oh, never mind then. I remember, it kept popping off and reforming yeah. itself. I didn't That's know me. Man made of dough. A bitch mouth on Oh, language. Hmm. Anyway, everyone ready to go? What language you would you prefer? Sure. Yeah. I think we're all set. Let's get in the car, you know. <laughs> get in the language car. Don't swear. Cause Santa's watching. You want to make Why Santa would... happy, right? Why would Santa care what promises yes. we make? <laughs> we're not naughty, nice, you know. Yeah. Well, you, know, you know, you know, stuff. As if you're not good, you want good stuff you don't want. It. Okay, you you know, Making we can debate oath? language. Just get in the car <laughs> before I report you to Santa. Come on, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna write you up. What method do you use to communicate? Is it? Can I borrow? Just don't your, say. The, may I borrow your communications equipment? Just don't say the fuck word. And you'll be fine, right? <laughs> all right, all right. The, the, the right. what word? That's a good one. That's a good one. The fuck one. Don't... Hey. Right. Everybody who's hey. getting to the van, roll me sharp. Hello. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. Yeah. Oh, God, the icons. <laughs> <laughs> wow. My Jen, first failure. Kate, How Jen, Casey, strong. Artie, mark experience. <laughs> How did I? Wow, I rolled a one. Oh, no, two and Jesus. One. This I wasn't is scrolled bad. to the bottom, so I saw an 11. I'm like, that's pretty good. This, <laughs> this is, my... is shades of old gods all over again. This is my first failure. Yay! <laughs> it took three Aww. episodes this time, unlike that one time where you leveled up like three times in one session. <laughs> yep. <laughs> all right, so uh, Eno and Gino. Our Eno boys, if you will. So there's conversation. Sarah's like, just don't say the fuck word. Blah, 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 blah. Eno's asking questions about how do you report or communicate to Santa? And it's at that moment she noticed, like, kind of like laid on its side across the rear view mirror, there's an elf on the shelf. <laughs> its eyes just staring at Eno. Hammer. Don't touch it, Don't touch it. Buckle up. Hey. Like, I point with, like, a finger. Don't touch it. Yeah. Don't touch it. Don't touch Santa's it. Santa's a little helper. What did they get there? Ow. That's not a very safe place. 
Well, he wants to be there. I'm sure he's fine. Yep. Don't touch it. <laughs> I hand Gino his sword. But it's on the mirror. Drive carefully. Do not touch the elf. This game is getting a little out of hand. Well, <laughs> it could get worse. <laughs> mm. I'm still staring mm. at, at, at the elf. You know, it's illegal to drive with things on your rear view mirror. Yeah, people do it all, all the time anyway. Don't, don't, don't do it. Understand. No, no, no don't touch it. No. <laughs> Just drive. No. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> no. No. Just drive. Drive. Just drive. I reach out and put a hand on Janet's and push it down. <laughs> Just drive. We'll be fine. We'll be okay. Crazy. Crazy driving movement. Mm -hmm. The cops will understand. This is such it's a silly game, kids. It's. <laughs> Let's hope it's a game. Uh, Best case. If I figure out which of you keeps moving this thing. <laughs> There's a simple solution, gonna, but I doubt you'll go for it. I'm going to pull out of the space and out of the mall parking lot, taking a corner a little sharper to see if I can maybe dislodge it. <laughs> You're trying to knock it off. <laughs> This you know, you know what, Janet? You know what, Janet? <laughs> Roll me a cool. <laughs> Read a bad situation. Read a bad situation. Uh oh. Well, the bad situation. Oh, this is going to go bad. <laughs> this is oh, all. No. Well, there's a bad situation now. <laughs> Ooh. Janet takes his, a turn, a little, <laughs> little extra sharp, trying to, trying to jostle the elf. The elf. Elf does not budge. Somehow it seems like it is like glued or something to the rear view mirror. And Janet, in her exasperation, she rolls her eyes like, what is going on? And this crowded mall parking lot as she takes a sharp turn and pow. Evens are out. Odds, Janet. Odds. <laughs> Airbags do not deploy. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> oh. See, I told yeah. you I can't drive with something obscuring my vision. No mail. The steering wheel Mirror. really just, Mirror. wow. Mirror. You'll, you'll get to blame that one on the elf that did we nothing should. and did not get moved. <laughs> <laughs> it should have moved. Move. What did I run into? Another car. Oh, good. Oh, yeah. Is it parked? Or, it's or another no HOA member problem. Are, are we insured? The door opens up. We are triple insured, dear. And not the head HOA person. Yay! HOA is here. <laughs> but one of the tagalongs, the followers, the men in like the relatively nicer suits that have like little holly wreath, like on lapel pins and reindeer ears, <laughs> opens the door. <laughs> and slowly steps out. He reaches down into his car, pulls up the last piece of his outfit, a little red nose that he puts on the edge of his thing. Mm. Edge of his nose. Mrs. Ford. Yes, dear. Shuffling around for the four extra copies of her insurance card. Are you all right, ma'am? No, oh, I'm I'm quite all right. I. Well, it's you just a whole you thing. just took that turn out of nowhere. I did. I did. I thought there was another car coming. It's it's. I'm terribly sorry. I, how's your car? Oh, I think it'll still work just fine. How's your car? Are you all all right? Oh, well, we're fine. Bumbling like climbs out of the car to take a peek. Mm. And they'll like walk around and like take peeks with you and everything. It's like, you know, mm -hmm. Mrs. Ford, you've always been an upstanding member of our community. Thank you. Mm. Do you, you think your car will still drive? Oh, yeah. it's it's just fine, honey. All right. Well, Merry Christmas, Miss Ford. Mer Merry Christmas, dear. He goes back to his car and. 
reverses a bit so you have more space to get out. Not calling the cops, not calling his insurance. He's letting you, letting you off. Well, I'm back in before he can change his mind. Is everyone all right? Boy. What a nice young man. Uh huh. Can I move that off now? No. 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 Was the elf moved in the crash? The elf did nope. not budge at all. Didn't think so. Nope. Well, like okay. it is glued to the rearview mirror. Does the elf magic of the transitive properties of whatever if I poke it off? What if yeah. I poke it off? Can't do that. Can't touch it. Nope. Do not Don't interact touch. with the elf, please. Mm, It'll only be here until the next time we look away. It's fine. Elf on the shelf rules. Also, just elves. Don't touch elves. I've. I've it's are real. elves real? Hey, it's Casey. Real. Yes. Are elves real? Yes. Yes. Like which kinds? Pickle kinds they exist. Like there's the Santa elves, and then there's the lady elves, and then there's the. There's so, the two other kinds. There's the elves and elves. Elves that make cookies. Made all the cookies. Elves make shoes. <laughs> yeah. Elves with wild. Hey, we could actually agree on something. What are you doing back there? Monster hunter. Hmm. <laughs> Angel. <laughs> Ghost. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Sure thing. I begin, I begin to find your doubt somewhat disturbing. Is there something I can do to lay this question to rest? You know, I believe things when I see them. <laughs> Ghost. <laughs> Magic. Well, wow. and Sarah. Just... Do Shun. me a favor. <laughs> Pick up something in this car, please. Not the elf. Are you, are you saying it's messy? No, I'm asking you to pick up I an object it. in this car. You're... I'm, I'm, I'm driving hands at ten and two. You can pick up whatever you want. Did this with the sword, man. <laughs> I'm trying. Well, I'm reading this so that way I can. And I'm driving. To the Christmas tree you, place. Would it make things easier to believe if I simply met you at home? Well, we're going to go get trees right now. I'm, I'm not. I'm not stopping the car. You coming with us? Stop. You can stay in the car when we get there. Janet, <clears throat> please answer the question. No. Oh, Do you even know sure. how to get to my home from here? Watch. Uh, Matt, I'm gonna do angel wings because I've been where she, I've been to that house before. Even Do I need to put the even, thing up? Even sir odds, Chef. Odds. Gotta fight powerful Christmas magic. <laughs> it is tougher for you to do. Like, for some reason, it's just takes a moment normally it's instantaneous and then you popcorn pop and for everybody else in the van uh Edo disappears in a cloud of like cartoony christmas snowflakes <laughs> that just like burst and then fall and flow like like a nice little snowfall doesn't normally do that what Where'd he go? Edo, you right. you arrive in Janet Ford's house alone. Girls. No one else there, just you. <laughs> I then I then proceed. No, no. no. Oh, I'm sorry. No. Okay. Ah. Okay. Oh. <laughs> <You're so laughs> sorry, dude. There's a thing that's gonna happen to you. <laughs> oh, I understand. Also, hi, I Omega sure. Level Mariah Carey. We haven't gotten to you yet in this session. <laughs> 
yet. I'm willing to put I'm willing to put real world money down that Mariah Carey is the ultimate bad boss of this entire campaign. Uh, you shouldn't take a bet that I could easily hedge against you. <laughs> yep. Yep. It's like it's against Cariah Mary. You lose, <laughs> Chef. Hey, up. You lose. Where's my money? <laughs> Grab a drink real quick while Chef gets his uppers. Yep. <laughs> Eno, mm-hmm. you're in Janet's house. And you know yes. the, house, the house should be alone, empty. No one else mm-hmm. should be here, but the hall closet door is thrown open. It's like a snowdrift leading from the door over towards the living room. Everything's cold. Everything's icy. There is footprints all through this snow in her house, going deeper and exploring, it would seem, venturing out. And you turn and look at the front door. It's also wide open. And you guys know you left that close. How many sets of footprints? Easily, at least, for what you can tell and you can pull pull out and pull and look at, it looks like it's at least twelve. But it's just so beaten down, and muddied by boots. It could possibly be more. A a significant number that I yes. don't want to mess with. Well, I mean, you don't know if you don't want to mess with them or not, but it's a significant number, yes. Okay. And give me a tough roll. Tr- oh, God. Uh, do I need to add the divine armor to this or not? Nope. Do it. You dodge as a standard ball Christmas tree ornament gets lobbed from the living room in your general directions. You dodge and you duck and it shatters on the wall, the shards splitting and falling down on you. They normally nick and hurt, but because of your divine armor, it does no harm to you as it would have only been one harm anyway. But okay. something has something's here and something's attacking. Hammer? And I start. I, I I try to go full angelic, like I've been told. Creatures around here would respect something along the lines of. In the name of Almighty God, I demand that you halt and cease all attacks. I am a. I am a divine. Uh, a wave, a wave of Christmas tree ornaments as you declare and start demanding, insisting <laughs> on what they can or can't do. All of a sudden, just it's like a wall, like 300 arrows will blot out the sky. Christmas <laughs> ornaments soaring at you. I'm about to see the Oh, uh, yeah, you, you, uh, give, give me another uh, tough roll. <laughs> <laughs> Are they all of one color or are they multicolored? Oh no, it, it is. It's not even just balls anymore. There, there's like a weird like Star <laughs> Trek one. There's like a whole array of different Christmas tree ornaments, and you hit the dirt, and they all go soaring past you with that awesome eleven roll on your dodge. As I'm spitting the- snow. <laughs> no. Okay. However, it is such a vast quantity that while you've dodged, you're taking no damage. The piles of them landing and raining down, burying you under them. (laughs) Obscuring your vision, but you can hear a voice calling. I was like, oh, look at the angel. Look at the angel. You think you sit at the top of the tree and you're special and you're fancy and you're better than us. You're not better than us. I, I jump up exploding out of the pile. You explode out of the pile into nothing. There's no snow in Janet's house. There's no sea of ornaments that you just emerged from. It's not icy cold. It's nice, warm, and inviting happy Janet Ford's house. 
Are the doors still open? Nope. Didn't think so. In fact, the door to the hallway is still barricaded by a chair. Chance getting funny. <laughs> oh, oh no! Oh boy! Mm. He's in all his bricks. I'm very glad that I cannot read. I can't see the chat right now. Yeah. It's right. fine. As I'm. Just because you hey, can't I get see to... it doesn't mean it's there. <laughs> not there. Oh, I know it is. I just I get to rewatch this on Twitch afterwards and then see what was going on behind the scenes. It's Eno, fun. take a harm. Uh, that kicks me over the line into unstable. Cool. Mm -hmm. As shard okay. of ornament perfectly goes through your shoe and up into your foot. I start swearing in angelic. Okay. Before yelling to the house. Back up to four. <laughs> <laughs> there are still four. Good God. No, there was four now power. three, and then she came in and dropped another one. Thank you, Chi. All right. I... Yeah. Who... Uh... <sighs> Whoever else is in this house, I would ask you make yourself known that we may treat under the standard definitions of heavenly parlay. Sound of static coming from the living room. I slowly walk in making sure I don't step on anything and keeping my ears open for anything ambushy. Uh, outside of the sound of a television on no channel on dead air, nothing. And once you get into the more middle of the room, amongst all the containers of Janet for her indoor decorations and everything, the TV kind of clicks. Scans channels is like Christmas carol songs. He sees you when you're sleeping. He knows when you're awake. He knows if you've been bad or good. And the bad or good, there's flashes of stills of since you've gotten into this small little village of things you've done. Uh, the running in the mall, freaking uh, the the yard with the darkness hitting the hitting the, the the brick wall on your way into town. So it's like bad or good, just quick flashes. So be good for goodness' sake. TV cuts off. We're up to six harms. I see. Since we are in the middle of a conversation, may I know a way to address you? Meanwhile, back in the van. Radio cuts on. I'm dreaming. Snow starts falling of a white Christmas. Isn't this lovely? Just like the ones I used to know. This makes you want some cocoa. Ooh. Snow is... Suddenly it's snowing very hard. Uh oh. Oh. Oh my. How far are we from the Christmas tree place? Not far at all. Just, I'm gonna just slow down to a fucking crawl. Short little jaunt. Yep. 20 miles per hour. <laughs> You'd hate it. 
I hate it just hearing it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, it's slow. It's all <laughs> Windshield wiper is on super high. Over the river and through the woods to grandmother's Christmas lot we go. That's not a Christmas carol. No. Bad. I didn't think it was. Only oh, sing Christmas carols on Christmas game. <laughs> The blizzard it's just winter. just as quickly as it happens. You continue to trudge and slowly crawl, and it just it stops. But the landscape is all snow covered. Gino, to you, it looks very familiar. You look like you're in the the, the snowy uh -huh. field again. Only now you're at the tree line. Yep. For the rest of you, it's just like. Where'd all this snow come from? I'm still going so slow because now I don't trust it. Yep. I'm so glad I gave him back his sword before I left. I'll be on your guards. Uh, White Christmas continues playing over the radio. Yeah. It's not stopped. It didn't just do like the one or two lines. This is like the actual carol is just playing. I guess bombing. that sure puts me in a festive mood. You dressed enough back there, Sarah? <clears throat> oh, yeah. I'm ready for this holiday, Mama. I like your attitude. Always the best attitude. <laughs> well, of course, it's Christmas. In good spirits. Is that because she's a ghost? Is that a ghost joke? Yes, it was. <laughs> You're so silly, Gino. Try yeah. to keep my mood up, because this is this is where we were. What do you mean this is where you were? I wasn't at the line. <laughs> now we're past it. Now we're at the tree line. Well, yeah, that's it how we gotta go to get the trees. Through. Keep my eyes open. So right here. Snowball hits the side of it's one of the passenger windows. Back. Fifteen miles per hour. Where did that come from? Dice. Where the hell is it? There it is. Hey. Hey. Your question, sir. Ten, so I got three. Shit. Okay. You do not have to ask them all this time. Yeah, I got the holds. Uh, well, main one. What's the best way to protect the victims? Drive. <laughs> cool. You were rolling, Janet. Low and slow. You're doing great. Just rolling the log. As I just, yeah. I'm just, I'm just sitting happy in the back seat. Yeah. <laughs> Casey just living his best life. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. As you are creeping down the the trail, Janet, at least what you assume to be a road, because you were on a road and you're still driving, and like there's enough of a part that it could be a road still. Um, a uh, 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 a handsome dapper young gentleman steps out from the tree lines it's just all in blue it's hair white but it looks like it's like colored and styled that way not like you know like old man kind of style it's just like it's like gives a big wave like there's enough lead time ahead of time they're just like hello roll down my window hi there what are you doing out here? It's all snowy. Oh, isn't it great? Yes. <laughs> it's the best. One could say it's a winter wonderland. Isn't that right, guys? One sure could say. Well, oh, yeah. Definitely. Did you drive out here? Where's the road? Oh, no, I was just out for my, my usual hike. You know me. Gotta keep things frosty. What does that mean, dear? Hmm? Oh, uh, we're being cool. 
Yeah. Nice. Are, are we? Oh, yeah. yeah. Heck yeah. Oh, it's been a while since I've been cool. Oh, I assure you, you are the coolest. So far. You're too sweet. What about you? What are you all doing out here? We don't normally have visitors. Well, we were going Christmas tree shopping. <gasps> Christmas tree shopping. Mm -hmm. Do you know where the lot is? Oh, yeah. It's just, just a little bit further down the road. You, there'll be a big sign and you take a left and there's a field of trees for you to pick from. Nice live trees. Perfect. That sounds wonderful. Oh, wait, hold on. Are they pine? Uh, yeah, I believe there's some pine out there. Because we need pine, not fur. Looks back to mm. Casey. Yes. Uh, it's very pine. important. Uh, the, the traditional imagery does involve more pine. Do you need a ride somewhere, sweetie? Oh, oh no, ma'am. I appreciate you very much, but I'm just fine. You know what? You you are so kind, and so nice, and like he like reaches into his blue like suit jacket, procures what looks like a Starbucks cup, and just hands it to you through your window. It's like here, have some nice hot cocoa. Thank you. You are so not welcome. even asking where it came from. You are so <laughs> welcome. Did anybody else? So anybody wonderful. else want 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 a treat? Give a little sniff. I'll take one. Oh, oh perfect. Heck yeah. <laughs> oh, awesome. This is like more, more, more treats, more treats like cups <laughs> and and peppermint sticks. Yeah. Thank all right, you. Well, well, you all be safe and you all have fun. And remember, if you ever need anything, just call on your uh, your friend, Jack. Thanks, Jack. Thank you, Jack. You stay cool and frosty. Oh, I will. I assure you. Did I do it right? All right. Yes, you turn, Janet, you turn back to sit and ask everybody if you do it right. You turn back, he's not at the side of your car anymore. Oh, he's so fast. Mm -hmm. Sips Coco. Sip Coco. Coco. Take God, a harm. Someone... Take a harm. It's hot. <laughs> <laughs> he just dribbles out. Uh, you, gotta, you gotta blow on it a little. Uh, a bit. And the McDonald's copy comes back to haunt only, us all. Only five harms left to go, guys. <laughs> <laughs> like, set. <Ooh>. Yeah. <laughs> so hot. Yeah, I gotta, gotta blow on it. <laughs> gotta blow on it. <laughs> We're gonna blow off the surface of the, like, of the cocoa, and we're gonna chug it like a challenge. You are chugging the hot cocoa, the the, the magma like cocoa. Take two harms, oh, Sarah. Yeah. <laughs> like, what? She's like, let me take care of some of these harms for you, Matt. Yep, yep, yep. Just trying. <laughs> we're trying out here. Three to go. <laughs> Jesus, two random cares too. Okay. Um, right, uh, Janet, you continue back down the path? Yep. Cool. Perfect. Anybody have any more read of bad situations or other things that they'd like to investigate while here? <laughs> Unless I can sure. investigate why this coffee's so god dang hot. Uh, it's cocoa. <laughs> why this cocoa so <laughs> hot? It becomes Man. magic. Christmas okay. magic is why it's so hot. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, crap. Where are the questions? But I don't have an. I don't so see at the top of your sheet, mm -hmm. uh, there is Hunter Move Reference, which I'm clicking for you now. Ah, there it is. I see it. Okay. Yep. And that'll drop down all the things. Oh. I just rolled the sharp. I was going to in, uh, investigate a mystery, so. Hell yeah. Let's see. <laughs> Let's see what's, what happened here. So we currently okay. we currently have uh, both investigate and read a bad situation done. Okay. Uh, just because I'm curious and mm -hmm. I know it, it, it's a Casey thing. Where did it go specifically, Jack Frost? Like, because she turned and looked away, <laughs> and then it was gone. It was like, where did he go? Into the trees. Into the trees. Uh, into the oh. snow. Into the snowy banks. Okay. 
<laughs> just, I was like, Artie, you're not you supposed to that? actually hurt yourself on food and drink. Yeah, well, it's, just, just it's, role it's role playing. Play, it's role <laughs> playing. Not, we're not marping. It's the softest cookie you could ever eat, too. Okay. Uh, let's see. I'll also ask what is being concealed here. A winter wonderland. <laughs> That's that's all displayed. That's not concealed. Oh, <laughs> right. oh no! The winter part is displayed. Oh, okay. The wonderland. wonderland. Gotcha. All right. That's what gets you. That's that's what's gonna get me. Ah, uh, Vancouver by night. How are you doing today, friend? Okay. Those are my two. <laughs> What are you? Yeah, no, that, there's no vampires here. That's Friday night's friend. <laughs> Christmas vampire. There, 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 there is, there is, a, there is a ghost. If that makes you feel better. <laughs> yeah. Gino, any really bad situations before we change scenes? Oh yeah. <laughs> About to switch them up. Uh, <laughs> any things we haven't noticed? Oh, there are so many dangers that you haven't noticed. <laughs> there are so Ooh, much. Winter Wonderland. You, 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 you already know that the reindeer are here somewhere. Somewhere. <laughs> somewhere. No, you're, pretty po vibe. you're pretty positive you see something moving back a bit deeper in the trees, but you can't quite make it out. It's moving in the same direction you guys are moving. That bridge will get to it. As long as we can stay ahead of it. Whew. Okay. Uh, well, last one is going to be the fun one. What's the biggest threat? Jack Frost. Yeah. I assumed, but the one to say, oh, don't trust him. Yeah. <laughs> Jack you Frost know, my burnt tongue would is agree with that assessment. It's the biggest <laughs> threat. You'll take your nose clean off. Down below. All right. All right. Beautiful. That's the snow miser. <laughs> <laughs> Burger Meister Meister Burger shows up. All right. Meanwhile, <laughs> meanwhile, back in Janet Ford's house. So worried about that bubble. <laughs> I just wanted to be a dentist. Uh, what was the anyway. last? What, what was your next round of trying to uh, discuss with whatever's in Janet's house? Uh, I asked if there was a way I could address, I could address it, or communicate with it directly. Give me a tough roll, Chef. You hear from the kitchen, and again, as described in the previous game session, the kitchen has like that open bar kind of like area feel. There's a dining room. You can see into the kitchen from the living room. You hear the creaking sound of one of the cabinets in the kitchen open. I carefully walk over, still on relatively high alert, um, because while I may have offered parlay, they did not accept or grant it either, so I don't know these guys. So, I walk over and, from a distance, examine the cabinet. Uh, the cabinet's just cracked the slightest bit. You can't really see into it. It's not fully wide open. Uh, I use my hammer to open it. Uh, your hammer, unfortunately, is a war hammer and much too big to do so. Well, we could open it, but won't close it. <laughs> unless you're gonna, unless you're gonna take the door off. Yeah, it's just smashing it open. Are you going to disrespect Janet's house I like that? Pick up, I pick up 
a kitchen utensil that is hanging on a nearby wall, because let's face it, she probably does, and motion and open the door. Take two harm. With a wooden spoon. Take two harm. Uh, ow. Uh, as, you, I, okay. as you, eyes glued to the cabinet, just reaching over for a utensil, and you grab the utensil, but then something small touches you. Something that's also touching this utensil. And as, like, you go to move, and you notice, like, no longer just grabbing onto the wound, but the tiniest little hand, a little doll's hand, it feels like, pinched onto your hand, and an elf on the shelf is just glaring up at you. (laughs) And the cabinet opens more and on the rows where there'd be like you know plates cups bowls or or, you know maybe an assortment of like baked goods and spices or things that would normally be in this cabinet there's not there there's just rows and rows of elves on the shelves standing there (laughs) all of them staring at you this is nothing but shelves (laughs) so many places Only one harm left, guys. Uh, yes, actually. Ooh. As I sort of, like, take my hand back. He falls off the spoon. He stays on your hand. Would you please let go? I, like, hold my hand over the counter so he could jump down easily. It's very nice to meet you. Do you intend harm to anyone in this house? From the living room, TV cuts back on the same exact song, same exact placing, everything. It was like an answer to your question. I'm assuming because there are so many of you that you all are here to enforce the social norms of the season. Who is the decision maker who decides what is and isn't naughty? TV cuts back on the exact same song (laughs) with the exact same same thing. On more. Have I done... Have we done something to offend you? It's because I'm an angel, isn't it? See, at least when I talk to inanimate objects, they talk back. <laughs> <laughs> Look at me, I'm a skeleton. I'm already halfway dead. I can talk to you for anything. <laughs> you get more flies with honey than vinegar. Shit. I get more flies with manure than I do with honey. What's your point? <laughs> Where's that? Is she ain't getting flies right now as it seems. <laughs> I'm not trying to get flies. I'm trying to get answers. You know, uh, he'll throw. Um, <laughs> make some space for more elves on shelves. <laughs> get his pants. Wow. Okay. Just magically, I heal three or. Yep. The powers, of, the powers of Christmas past are being kind. <laughs> K 
cabinet door slowly starts closing on its own. Thank you for meeting with me. I take it you're not a fan of the one who made me. Close. Didn't think so. It's another pinch. As you bring your hand up to rub at your face, it moves from your hand to your cheek. <laughs> An elf on the shelf just hanging from there now. <laughs> Would you please let go of me? It's big, bright eyes just staring up at you. Hey, your hands are free now. Mm -hmm. And because you're an elf on the shelf, I'm not supposed to touch you. That the, however, the rules don't say anything about you touching me. Would you care for a drink? Meanwhile, back at the van. <laughs> Boom. Ooh. Sure enough, just like that blue suited friend told you, it's like you go a little bit further down the way and there's many signs talking about free Chris or not free, but live Christmas trees and just just this way, and an arrow pointing. Lights, Christmas tree lights, so wonderful. Who needs yeah. GPS when you have friendly strangers? <laughs> driving, driving, till I find somewhere to park. Uh, there's a designated area for parking. There's a quaint, nice little farm. It was like, nice little Christmas tree plot. So many trees out for display. Like, there's more back in the tree line for, you know, like, people that want the full activity of cutting down their own tree. Hey, see, I'm pretty sure we're going to be able to find something you like here. Yay! <laughs> Do you know how big you want it? Um, I think I'll figure it out. All right. All right, dear, you go ahead and go get a head start. Oh, I'll lock up the car. <laughs> and park. Yeah. Say, hey, Janet. You like tie downs or whatever we'll need to uh, free on the roof of the car? Tie downs? Uh, you mean those little strappies? Yeah. They usually sell the little strappies. Even better. Since I'm not there, you can just put it in my seat. Tree. <laughs> six foot 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 tree, six foot. We'll put the tree in the car and then everyone will hold on to the top. You don't stand on the seat, you know? <laughs> <laughs> not anymore. <laughs> Let's see. I'll lock up the car and start heading to the lot. Heck yeah. <laughs> All right, let's see. <laughs> Casey, were you going first on your own or are you waiting for the others? Uh, no, he's totally going on his own. Okay, perfect. perfect. <laughs> totally wandering off to go look for the perfect tree. All right, you start wandering off into this, and as you get close to uh, all the already chopped down trees, a, a, a tiny little man. Mm -hmm. Like, maybe like three foot eight. 
Mm -hmm. got got a Santa hat on and like nice green Christmas kind of suit. See as you walk up, I'm like, hey, what's up? How's it going? Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. How you doing? I'm doing good. Awesome. My name is Jasper. Hi, Jasper. And I am here to help you find your perfect tree. I appreciate it. Well, welcome to uh, Jasper's Christmas Tree Emporium. I am Jasper, obviously. Uh, mm -hmm. So what are we looking for, friend? Uh, the perfect pine. The perfect pine. Oh, wow. Oh, man, we're going all out today, ain't we, friend? Yeah. Awesome. All right. Well, right this way. Right this way, my guy. All right. Leads you, Follow Jasper. Leads, <laughs> leads you deeper into the sea of trees. <laughs> deeper into the pine. The green. Do, 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 do. <laughs> So, uh, what, what, so just pine, we're not like looking for anything like, just the perfect pine. I'm sorry, yeah. forgive me, forgive me. You, you're looking oh. for the perfect pine. Yeah. <sighs> All right, so are we looking for like, you know, like snow glaze? Or are we just looking for like straight up, like that real authentic pine? Like, cause we got snow blowers. We can, we can dust the, all the trees you want, buddy. No, 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 if it was gonna have snow, I would, well, I think it would need to be authentic, not fake. What you trying to say there, guy? Huh? What you trying to say? You're trying to say my snow, my snow's fake? Are we putting actual snow on the tree? I can put actual snow on the tree. But it stay though. I mean, how, how, how much you got? I don't know. Uh, you talk to Janet about that. Wait, wait, you mean no, you no. don't know how much you got? You're asking me for the perfect pine tree and you don't even know if you can afford it? I'm sure we can. It's just, I'm here to look for it. Janet's coming. Janet, What's okay. Up? Yeah. She went oh, to park oh wait, car. are you not alone? No. Oh man. Digs through his little Christmas suit. As I walk through. Mm -hmm. It's like, we're gonna have more people. Make sure somebody's there to greet them. Oh, I'm sorry, I should have said that. It's fine, don't worry about it. It's all good. We I run a tight ship here. Yeah. I could tell. Yeah. How we get things done. Anyways, right this way, guy. Thank you. And then, <laughs> for, for the others, <laughs> um, you guys come walking up and approaching the tree lot, and and a different tiny person, little person, comes scuttling out from the trees. She's dressed in a nice, like, red, like, Christmas dress. It's got, like, Santa trimming, like, Santa fur trimmings along, like, the hem and her collar and her sleeves and, and like, nice blonde curly hair and another, like, little Santa hat. It's like, oh, hi there, guys. Ooh, girl. Hey there. Merry Christmas. Uh, Merry Christmas. Hey there. Hi, I'm Candy Cane, and I will be here to help you find your Christmas tree. Well, we're coming here with a friend. I think he got a head start on us. He's supposed to be finding us a pine. Oh, is that is that that's the oh, guy who's looking for the perfect God. pine? Oh, the perfect. Oh, of course, only the most perfect for my friends and family oh. Oh, and that, me. Family is what's most important with Christmas. And I've got a lot of family. Oh, I believe it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, well, if he if he's looking for the perfect pine, then I know the general direction they're going to be going. Maybe we'll catch up. Oh, you know what? You know we're gonna move on. Yeah. Are you, and you're sure you want the perfect pine? Well, I mean that seems awful suggestive, doesn't it? Sure. <laughs> she, <laughs> she starts leading you through the already cut down trees towards the uncut trees. Follows along, because at least that's the direction Casey went in. <laughs> I love that Pierce. The second I said that, Pierce is just like, "Uh, where's my oh, shit on oh. my sheet?" <laughs> yep. <laughs> Are you scrolling? scrolling you want scrolling, the scrolling. <laughs> yep. 
We got one. One. <laughs> Go ahead and use it now. What is being concealed here, man? Uh, everything's pretty straightforward here. It's a Christmas tree mm -hmm. lot with live mm -hmm. trees. It's very, very out in the open. Mm-hmm. What's being Nothing concealed? Nothing to worry about. about. <laughs> so much to worry about. customer service. Nobody's what? saying they're not doing a great job. Five stars. What's going on here? <laughs> What's going on here? Nothing. Everything is exactly as advertised. You have come to a tree lot of live trees. Mm hmm How live? <laughs> to, to, find, to find your perfect pine tree. Yep. This is I love these trees, long, man. <laughs> Well, I don't know. Currently, you're around the dead ones that have already been cut down. <laughs> Found my Photoshop of Horrors playlist. <laughs> I'd go back for my sword, but I've gone too far already, so let's just go. Plus, Janet locked the van. Yep. <laughs> Beautiful. I did bring my cocoa. Okay. But I've got my candy cane or whatever I was given. Okay, perfect. Good. Good to know. Good to know. Like, oh, um, did, do any of you, like, want a snack or anything before before we go on the hunt? Please. I mean, yes. we did just come from the mall, but I'm feeling a little peckish. Oh, wonderful. And she stops at, like, a little table where there's, like, a variety of cookies and not like store-bought cookies but they look like homemade but there's only like one of each of them there's just like there's the the sugar cookie with the hershey kiss on top there's some peppermint bark bites chocolate chip oatmeal raisin how many, how many different treats are there man how many different treats yeah about like 20. Okay, I was about to say, if you say no. four, I'm not trusting this man. No, it's about like 20. It's a nice little tray of homemade things, but only one each. Normally, Janet, you'd know this. When you bake, you don't just bake one cookie. You know, they must have had a rush of customers. We do have a lot of cookies in the car, though. Are any of them the you ones know? with that little Hershey kiss in the middle? Yeah, that's the first one I described. No, I meant like I was asking Janet that when she said we have tons of cookies in the car. Oh, gotcha. Um, okay. Oh, no, I don't think I don't think Mrs. Fields makes those. I could make you yeah. some. You want me to make you some cookies when we get home? Oh, heck yeah. I'm still going to take that cookie, though. <laughs> Important. Good. You need to remember at some point. One of Casey's goals is to recreate the perfect cookie that he analyzed in the car. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's without all the time, all the extra time spent on that cookie. <laughs> Meanwhile, back, back at Janet's house. I go to the refrigerator and I get out the chocolate milk that Janet mentioned earlier at breakfast. I remember where she had a glass. I open it, open the cabinet slowly, half expecting to see more elves on a shelf. No, it's just, just normal kitchen stuff. I take down a glass and I look at the thing sort of like said, I, would you like some? Okay. I pour. I pull down another glass. I pour him one anyway, just in case. I might be misunderstanding him. And I tentatively try to drink it. It's hanging off your cheek, but it's not like blocking your mouth. So you, you yeah, have I'm no problem. You have no problems drinking your glass of chocolate milk. I was half expecting him to smack it away. Short of grabbing hold of you after you moved him, uh, he has taken no actions. Is there a shelf you'd like me to put you on? I'm happy to put you on any shelf I'm able to reach. <laughs> what 
Would an apology help? I didn't... I wasn't really looking when I was reaching, so... If I touched you without understanding to, or inappropriately, I do apologize. I have to admit, I was being somewhat careless, although I was rather startled at the time. Uh, I look around to see if there is some sort of spatula. Huh? There's a whole bunch of, like, different kitchen cookware and stuff here in <laughs> Janet Ford's kitchen. I reach, over, I reach over and grab a spatula and set it next to my face, hoping that it is shelf-like enough that I could sort of, like, oh, and have the elf sitting on a shelf so that way I don't have to touch him, but I could still put him down appropriately. <laughs> Uh, it's either you, that or Ovid Bits. You, you, you scoop the elf with the spatula, get in his cute little, his cute little uh, stuffed bottom uh, situated upon it, his mm. hand still on your cheek, gripping. I set him down. Uh, my you, hand what, over. you move the spatula... When you move the spatula yep. with his body away, uh, body falls limp, still dangling from your cheek. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought when you put your hand down that he had let go. No. Okay. No, he is. Right. I will let you know if okay. and when it ever lets go. <laughs> yeah, you're just filling me with positivity. Tiny death grip right on your cheek. Yep. Kung Fu grip. Cha. Okay. I have to get back to prove a point to the owner of this house. <laughs> I do not know what will happen if I attempt to do that while you are on me. For your safety, I am going to try to put you on a shelf, okay? I look for an oven mitt. Fair oven mitt. I take the most festive one. I'm assuming she has Christmas oven mitts. Uh, she hasn't unpacked the indoor uh, Christmas time stuff yet. Okay. Well, I grab I grab the most of I grab an oven mitt and sort of try to gently pull him off me. You start gently pulling him away, and like the hand with its like iron claw like uh -huh. grip on your cheek, like you get him away, but it's pulling your cheek now with its one tiny hand. I. I look. Can I? Am I able to see its eyes? Oh yeah, it's, it's, like, it's bright like, blue doll-like eyes have been staring up at your eyes this entire time. I'm going to try to manipulate this thing into letting, I don't, I'm trying to sweet talk it. I'm trying to be nice. Will you pretty please let me, will you pretty please let go of me so I can go back to the people I need to go back to? And then do I roll to manipulate someone? Mm -hmm. Is it? Okay. Hey, look, I got XP. <laughs> it grips harder. No, it does not this grip is, harder. To play. This is thir the third session, and I've only gotten two experience this entire time. <laughs> okay. Something tells me your friends are going to give you XP at the end of this session just for your lone adventure today. <laughs> well, that's their decision, not mine. Anyways, anyways right. Elf. <laughs> you ask nicely, it doesn't budge. I think, I think letting go of me may be in the holiday spirit. <laughs> it would help, it would help me be able to go and ensure others have a merrier Christmas. It's 
still not budging. <laughs> Jen looks panicked over this. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, uh, Matt. Yeah. Quick, 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 uh, quick storyteller question. What's up? Um, it says when I use angel wings, if I carry one or two people with me. Yeah. Okay. Does this? Does the elf? count as a person in this context. Because I'm it's either that or I try to Part of me is really tempted to try to put this thing into hammer space. <laughs> and I'm very sure something bad will happen. I, I will let you know if you do angel wings that will require you to roll weird. Okay. On an out of character level, I'm letting you know that. Okay. All right. I'm sorry if this is rude. I don't have the time. I don't have the ability to to stay until I can solve this. Other people need me. The owner of this house needs me. And yeah, I clearly need some answers as well. So, I'm going to do one of two things. Either I'm going to use my wings and flap my way out of here, or I can try to put you somewhere where I think you would be safer while I do that. If you don't want to come with me, I would advise you, you know, spiritual being to spiritual being servant of a higher power to a servant of a higher power to let go of me its grip does not waver <sighs> okay uh, Matt I try to put it into hammer space Okay, how do you do so? Well, I'm touching it. The same way I normally put stuff in hammer space. Poof. Since he's already got physical contact with me, I don't know if I need to reach out and touch it, per se. I'm fine with that. Okay. Take five harm. Uh, I'm dying. Woo! as your cheek is cheek and it starts with your cheek but straight through like the flesh of your face gets torn off as you teleport the elf into a hammer space it's gripped so tight it takes a chunk of you with it i start screaming all right i'm dying Da, 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 da. Okay. I'm going to try. I'm going to try to lay on hands myself. Um, but I'm going to spend. Okay, if I'm if I'm going to spend a luck, do I need to roll it first, and then decide? Yes. Or do so I need pretty to much, you roll. You, you roll, and then you mark luck to change the roll. Okay. I'm going to try to lay on hands myself. Okay. And you're spending a and luck. And then I'm going to sp I'm going to spend a luck. You do not get the XP, just so you are aware. Um Okay. I don't I don't see you, 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 you rolled a six. Anytime you fail a roll, you gain oh. XP. Yep. Yeah, I was running on the assumption since I was changing it, it wouldn't yeah. count. That's why I was just clarifying. 
Okay, well, I was like, that right. doesn't have anything. So really with it being it, with it being a twelve plus, heal two harm, and you're stabilized. Okay. And I'm willing to bet you I'm about to get my luck special. No, not yet. You don't hear anything. Okay. Looking considerably the worse for wear. Mm-hmm. I used angel wings and teleport back to, I guess, Janet in this case. You pop, and you pop right back into the kitchen. You've encountered this before. If you're not on the same plane of existence, you can't teleport to them. So you know that Janet and your friends are somewhere else. I go to the closet. Okay. I unbar it. I open the door. It, it's a closet. Is it closet. a closet or... I step inside the coat closet and try it again. Cool. Meanwhile, back at our tree farm. Yeah. I just realized I never took it off the tree farm. Cool. Perfect. Good job, me. <laughs> Good we job. We all know where the real story is. Uh, uh, the, the rest of the crew catches up uh, right around the time that uh, Jasper is telling Casey. Mm, all right, uh, so we're looking, we're hunting the per perfect pine, right? right. And this is the conversation you guys are walking up on. Like, <laughs> all right, well then, my friend, uh, you're in luck. Uh, go ahead and and uh, choose your your uh, your equipment, if you will. And there there there's next to like on this trail leading up towards like a pine tree forest. There's uh -huh. like there's like a two person saw. There's an axe, there's a chainsaw, hmm. various other wood cutting instruments. Isn't there one already cut? You could. Uh, ma'am, ma'am, this, this fine sir has specifically said he wants the perfect pine tree. Well, I was asking him a question. How perfect does it need to be? I mean, I'm, I'm surrounded can you, by can you, can, young folk. Can you really put a price on perfect the perfect Christmas, ma'am? I wasn't, it wasn't about the price. Dear, I'm not gonna be sawing any trees down myself. Uh. Hmm, axe on that hand axe. <laughs> I'm not grabbing the chainsaw. <laughs> oh, no, hell no. <laughs> no. And there's more than just... just one of them. Like, there's okay. multiple axes, multiple saws. Okay. Oh. I think my granddaughter Bailey once tried to make me watch a movie that was called Chainsaw Grannies. It was not my speed. Mm -mm. Uh, well, I think you'd be able to do anything you wanted to do, Miss Janet. It's very nice of you, Candy Cane. Okay. Oh, so uh, do you make these cookies? Me, yeah. Like, oh, I don't know if it's just because I was at the mall, but uh. Top tier oatmeal raisin. Superb oh, job. Thank you. But listen, like love and care and kindness being put into your baked goods will always trump basic capital consumerism. Oh. Absolutely. Perfectly said. Not that there's anything wrong with store buy. Oh, I'm just nah, saying. You get what you can get. Exactly. You get what you put into it. it. Sarah. Or, Still. Say, you want to help me out? As he picks up the two person saw. Ooh, hell yeah. All right. Yeah. So yeah, I'm taking the two person saw. Yep. Yeah. We want two axes. We getting fancy tonight. It's Christmas. <laughs> getting fancy. It's Christmas. <laughs> Wielding is a move, I take it. No. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Yeah. Something about born a cold in winter. I winter land. I don't know.
Now, of all the things that I had planned for this, there's one thing I did not think of, and now I can't find one, so I'll have to do research. <laughs> Uh, all right, so Casey and Sarah, you guys are taking the double saw. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Gino, you said you just grabbed an stand ye old axe. Two axes. Perfect. 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 Good. 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 Everything's fine. Uh, Gino. Hell yeah. <laughs> Equipment. Other gear. Axe. There's new gear on your sheet, Gino. Hey, hey, don't mind if I do. <laughs> nice. That's a damn good act. <laughs> and Casey, there's more stuff on your sheet in your other gear section. No reason that these things have stats or anything. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're just equipment. It's. Uh, I mean, Jasper hasn't been sitting here talking about going and hunting down the perfect tree or nothing. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Hunting down. It's a tree. You want a live tree? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so live, so live. These trees. All right, uh, so, and there's the fork. It's like, and if we're looking, if we're looking for pine, you're gonna want to take the right path. I mean, okay. If you're looking for a different kind of tree, like a fir or something, uh, you want to take the left path. You guys have been very adamant about pine, so I highly recommend going down the right. For some uh, reason, we're going pine. What do you mean yes. for some reason? Pine is the perfect ideal. Yeah. Makes, makes your house smell good. Nice pointy top. Sappy. I'm afraid of the pointy top. <laughs> It'll be great. <laughs> All right, and then you know what? Once once you have your tree, Link, you know, uh, just uh, hands you a, a nice little silver whistle, Casey. Actually, okay. you know what? Maybe we'll give this to the lady who's not going to be cutting and chopping. It's like once you have your tree down, like, you know, blow this whistle and the helpers will come help start and wrap it and binding it, you know, sealing it up for you. And uh, you guys will be able to uh, and then we'll help you drag it back down and we'll talk price. All right. Bear. Put it in our pocket. <laughs> I love my specific wording that I have written out. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. As mm -hmm. I stare directly into the camera with my sunglasses on. <laughs> it's fine. It's pine. Yeah. Oh, boo. That one's for you, Koi. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Under the tree. Taxes is well paid. <laughs> you guys make your way uh, down the right path. You're heading and occasionally like you'll hear like it sounds like woodland critter, like something snapping tree branches running along the ground. But as you continue to walk and as you continue to go, like some of like the more like snow covered heavy fallen upon trees kind of give way to lush beautiful pine trees a full forest of them as far as the eye can see thick and glossy and smell smell like Christmas yeah I'm a day okay. it's it's daytime it's nice bright and sunny which is oh. weird because you know sun was starting to go down when you left the mall <laughs> Then a blizzard happened. Then a blizzard happened. That's right. Uh -huh. I'm gonna I'm gonna give my cocoa another test sip. Well, it's, it. it's cooling off. <sighs> it, it's sippable now. In fact, that cocoa fills you up with so much joy, Janet. If you've taken any harm, heal too. Hey. This is some some excellent cocoa. And that's one care done. 
<laughs> so what are we looking for, Casey? How do we know the perfect pine? <laughs> Let's see. Hmm. Is it is it big and bushy? Are we going tall? Is it really about the fullness? Matt. Yes. Question. Answer. Can I use my connect the dots? What does the monster want from this person in relation to the thing in the box, me, and what tree it was? <laughs> so. <laughs> here's uh, the thing. Connect the dots is usually meant for like <laughs> the session that yeah. you encounter the thing in. Okay. Normal. Right. Normal. Right. But because because this is the season. These. Tis the season. I think. I think I'll allow it. All right. <laughs> I think I'll allow it. So you want to use connect the dots for what exactly again? For looking for the perfect tree for this. For this thing. For what this thing that you don't even know what it is because you didn't even look in the box. Right. <laughs> they bonded on a spiritual level. <laughs> Ugh. Evens or odds, Brad? Evens. Yeah, you're able to suss together. It's like, you know, you want something... You want something large but or like tall but not like you know like fat you you're looking for for a tree that like has some girth but you know like isn't like crazy like enough where it's like enough surface area if it was tucked back into a corner like there's a lot of a lot of area like displayed right. but you but also not ginormous you don't want it to go be like two stories tall yeah. Because you can't teach that. <laughs> we are talking about trees, gotcha. right? Gotcha. Gotcha. As, gotcha. So. And as you wander, it's like there, there is, there are three trees standing in a clearing. A really tall giant, like what you'd expect to be displayed in like in New York City in Times Square. And then there's two little tiny guys that are maybe s six foot four, like almost perfect. Like that, that's floor to ceiling, like almost perfect. And there's one more that's like six foot. So the six foot one. The six foot one would be be the one to go for, because that's enough thing for like a tree topper and all the decorations. Okay. The the, the mm -hmm. six foot four one would be cutting it like the the decoration might like scrape along the ceiling, and we don't want that. That's not gotcha. perfect. So we're taking out the child. <laughs> <laughs> what? Did you want it like that? What you wear like that, Brad? They're, no, just no. They're just trees. Just trees. trees. As far as we know. <laughs> oh no, no, as far as we know, they're just trees. They're just live trees. Just live, live trees. trees. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Get all three of them just just <laughs> right there in the middle. Make sure the tallest tree watches. So. <laughs> okay. Let's see, there's the daddy tree and the mommy tree and the baby oh, tree. What's yep. one of them gonna work for you? Or should we keep looking? Like, that big one's not going to fit in my living room, I can tell you that right now. Yeah, no. Have to be the little one. I mean, the medium one. That could work. That could work. Uh, really fill up the space. It could. Wait a minute, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to feel bad about that tiny one. Okay. So, so we, okay, so, so y'all want to go with the bigger one. The middle one? I mean, duh. Medium's okay. nice. Well, I mean the medium one. The the bigger yeah. of the smaller trees. No. Yeah. Okay. But is it perfect? So we're here for. Is that the tree? Yeah, I mean it'll work. It'll work. 
It'll work. work, it's not perfect. Casey, is a perfect pine or not? <laughs> hmm. Settle down, settle down, sir. We got Get a hold loyal. Of yourself, Casey. Get home a little hot, it's fine. <laughs> I think anyway, I'm gonna check my watch to see what time it is. You check out your watch? It said angrily. It is was it one of those like old people watches with like the face and the hands yeah. and stuff? Yeah, it's an actual watch. They're, they're just spinning. Oh, yeah. oh, I must have bumped this while I was shopping. Huh. Or the wreck. What's up? Oh, I was just looking to see what time it is. Look at the watch. Uh, what kind of watch does Gino oh. have? Oh, I said look at her watch. Oh, you look at her watch. Cool, perfect. Yeah, all the clock heads just spinning and not in like the normal flow of time, like second hands going this way, minutes going this way. The the hours just like I think it needs a new battery. Should have gotten oh. one of them all. Wait a minute. <laughs> I wouldn't know how long that is. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Come here. You got the eyes. What's up? You're the one. You're the one that's uh. You uh -huh. want to in tune with this? Uh, just aiming Janet's watch at Casey. Sarah, what are you doing while all of them are wa looking at Janet's watch? <laughs> okay. I am waiting to get the perfect tree, and okay. also just scanning the area and looking at all the other brilliant trees. There are so many gorgeous trees and like you're looking around it's like man this this really is like a winter wonderland and like as like you're scanning like and you get to the middle where the three trees were the three trees are a little bit closer to you. <laughs> <laughs> like they Ooh. moved. Not a lot, not significant, but closer. <laughs> Self defense. Casey, what are you doing right, while looking at Jan Casey, what are you doing while looking at Janet's watch? Uh, <laughs> to him, because of the question he asked earlier, <laughs> he's just like, uh-huh. <laughs> just staring at the watch, like, doesn't know what you're <laughs> looking for. He's like, uh-huh. You know, you don't want to piece this stuff together. Like, uh-huh. What, what does this what mean? Do we, what do you, what what do you mean? mean? Clock's going weird. Clocks don't normally go weird, right? Oh, yeah, that's... We're in one of the work to land. Sarah, it looks like the snow, like, parts a little bit, and the... the the land? The, 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 uh, <laughs> we're in a winter the, the, wonderland. The, the ground <laughs> patch that the three trees are on kind of, like, slides a bit more forward. Okay, nope. What's going on? Excuse me. Hello. Nope. Hey, stop it. Dude, what's going on? Uh, Casey. Yes. Now that we know what time it is, um, what <laughs> the fuck? What? <laughs> These trees are getting closer. They're live trees. Well, yeah, but usually they stand there and breathe. They're not yeah, multitaskers. Back home. Back home? Yes. Oh, we're moving not. Moving trees back more. home. Okay, cool. Because <laughs> <laughs> he asked earlier what's being concealed. The Winter Wonderland. Aha! <laughs> I'm going to explain this to me. I don't know. Nothing's being concealed. We're, we're walking Top in a Winter back. Wonderland. <laughs> Meanwhile, back at Jenny Ford's house. <laughs> You know, you were, uh, you were, you closed the closet door on yourself. Yes, and I try to poof. You try to poof. Uh, you are standing in a dark closet. Poofing does not happen. I open the door. Uh-huh. Walk out, close the door, then open it again. It's still a closet. Close and open. It will continue to be a closet with your current course of actions. Okay. Um, I'm 
just realized I don't have to stare at you anymore. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> My bad. It's okay. It's all right, baby. I know what you're here for. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, hey, Jen. <laughs> All right, I go to the closet where all the, uh, or excuse me, not the closet, but the cabinet, where mm -hmm. all the, where all the other Ooh, elves these... on a shelf were. Yep. I open it. To the alligators, by Plate, all. Plates, bowls, and cups. Okay. I... Without touching, I poof the elf on the shelf onto that shelf and quickly slam the door. You may retrieve anything you stored at any time it appears in your hand. In that case, I'm going to put on a oven mitt. Okay. If I could find a way to put on two oven mitts, I I'm going to put on two oven mitts if possible. J Janet, you have more than one oven mitt, right? <laughs> They're Double seasonal. Mitt. I've got a gingerbread and a snowman one for Christmas. But those are in I your bin told... still. You haven't taken, you haven't decorated for Christmas yet. That's probably a turkey and a pilgrim. There we go. Thanksgiving. <laughs> Perfect. Let it know where I stand. I, I put the turkey work back too well for you. Bro. I put them both on, yep. leaving the pilgrim on the outside. On one hand. On one hand. Okay. I poof it into my hand, put it in there, and close the door. Okay. And now I try to, and now I try to poof as hard as I can. Okay, still in the kitchen. Keeping my eye on the cabinet. The, the poofing is happening. Like, you do pop, but you pop yeah, right back just... here in Janet's house. This is that poofing the Eno thing I did in the mall, too. Right. Okay. So. Ooh. I try, I, I try one last time to open the, to open the closet and see if it's a winter wonderland. It is not. Or a winterscape. In that case, I go out I go out the front door. Okay. Into the snow. Mhm. Mm into the front yard of Janet's house. Yes, the Okay, is it night or day where I am? It is nighttime. Okay. First Only I go sharp. And plug every Oh, okay, cool. You're uh, on top of it. Good job. Yeah, first I go plug everything in. This is what I'd be like, <laughs> then I, it's not plugged in. <laughs> yeah, then I try to poof. Uh, you try to poof, nothing comes of it, but you do hear uh, feet in the snow walking down the sidewalk. I look to see who this might be. It looks like, not Janet's nemesis, but, 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 but one of Janet's people flanked by multiple men in, in winter coats with holly wreaths, lapel pins, and reindeer ears. And she's dressed in like, you know, like a Christmas, Christmassy dress, but like also jacket and scarf and little, little fuzzy ears and Santa hat. And they stop and they turn to look at the stranger in Janet's yard. <laughs> Can we help you, sir? No, thank you. Go back inside. Hmm. They continue. Look she out pulls out, pulls out her clipboard. She's riding on her clipboard as she's like walking down, walking down the sidewalk. Of everything I have seen, this... The complexities of this social construct, contract will never cease to baffle me. I don't understand why... Uh, I 
I check the closet one more time. It's still a closet. Yeah, I was pretty sure. On the off chance, I walk over to the I walk over to the landline phone and dial Gino's number. The number you're attempting to dial is currently not in not in service. Sure, it's In in my. In my angelic language, I'm like, please just work. Hang up. Okay. Phone rings. Board residence. He's making a list and checking it twice. Mm -hmm. He's gonna find out that you're naughty and who's nice. I start writing this down on the obligatory notepad next to Janet's phone. She would have one of those. <laughs> yes, she would. Santa Claus is coming. To town. Click. Do I walk over, sit down at the kitchen table. Mm -hmm. And actively start praying. Like okay. Nothing else has worked, so we're going to try this. Right. And, okay. And yes, I know we address this, so I do know what I'm getting into here. Okay. I start actually asking, did I do something that I don't know about? I mean, I understand I'm here. I understand I'm here to advert the adversary. I understand I'm here to protect the people. I get it. I'm here because someone had to be because the divine plan requires that someone be here to defend these people. I don't know why it's me. I don't know why you would send me here. And I don't know what you set me here as because I am feeling things that I'm not supposed to feel. And I am doing things that I'm not supposed to do. And I'm not able to do things that I've been able to do. I can't find my wings. I can't turn on my halo. I cannot glow with heavenly power. I cannot even jumpstart a sun. What? did you let them do to me? Am I even an angel anymore? Because this isn't supposed to be working this way. I'm not supposed to be looking at people this way. I don't even have what it takes to literally act on any of this that is coursing through me. And merciful father, just tell me what the hell I did. Okay. Add my tantrum. I need to get back to work. Okay. 
That's a not very Christmas spirit of you guy. You hear from somewhere upstairs. How is it not in the Christmas spirit? Oh, my life's awful and bad, and I'm not even supposed to be normal and mer. Long lay the world in sin and error pining till he appeared and the soul felt its worth. Deck the if halls with bowels of holly. Fa la 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 la. I'm not allowed to sing, so you're on your own for that one. Wrong. You're on your own. I have plenty of people singing with us. <laughs> what, your made-up guy is more powerful than my made-up guy? I think not. I never claimed anyone was more or less powerful. <clears throat> yeah, you keep walking around talking like you're some kind of, like, angel or something. You know, I genuinely thought I was. That's crazy. You're not the first person to say that to me today. I'm the first one to mean it! No, I genuinely think Casey doesn't right. believe I am well, either. Well, 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 cool. You know what? You keep being, I... you keep being a Grinch and just sit here. Enjoy. What would you have me do instead? I'm not the boss of you. That's why I asked you, instead of expecting you to come down here and fix a bunch of problems. It sounds like that's exactly what you want me to do. No, I asked by telling him you by telling you what that. to do. You literally just asked me to tell you what to do. I asked your advice on what to do. I asked your opinion on what to do. Oh my god! I did not ask you for instruction. You know what? I could tell you what to do. It wouldn't matter. Your, your, your heart's not in it. It's whatever. It's fine. You can be a Grinch. It's I cool. What? Because I don't celebrate Christmas? Is that what this is? I don't celebrate it. None of us did. It's like celebrating the boss's kid's birthday. Uh, again, just like the darkness told you, Christmas doesn't got anything to do with God. Jesus wasn't even born on Christmas. Dum dum, you should know that you're an angel. I never said he was. Then why is it like celebrating the Marvelous on birthday? Because it's a random day. It's 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 the day we decided to celebrate. It doesn't mean it's the you actual didn't day. Shit, you guys stole it from the pagans. The humans did. Yes. Right, I'm not so gonna you guys to... didn't pick that random day, did you? I didn't. I don't believe God did. I think the church back when decided to take it, just like they decided to move when Easter happened. So what you're saying is the human's power of belief made it come to fruition. That and the fact that the, that the God Almighty decided to give humans the ability to start speaking in the name of God through the Catholic Church. Sure, yeah, they, yeah, sure. All right, well, fun conversation. Good luck with your angel crisis. Thank you. Yeah. Meanwhile, back in the Winter Wonderland. Oh, I didn't know we'd be tackling these issues of theology and philosophy. I didn't, I didn't think we would either, but here we are. <laughs> hey. But here we are. <laughs> Just in the axe on his axe. I know, I down these trees. Let's just almost get Chop murdered like we all plan to tonight. Gino, yeah. you, as you turn back to focus on the trees, just like Sarah's kind of been saying, the trees are a lot closer. Oh, hella close. You're in the right. shadow of the giant pine now. Mm-hmm. Well, that's kind of weird. I wouldn't get that close really? unless you're ready to fight. 
What do you mean ready to fight? We're hunting or... Christmas trees. We're gonna try magic. <laughs> Ted, it's like, we're what? I'm <laughs> gonna yep. order online next time. <laughs> Tell the communicate with something I don't share language with. <laughs> don't we have people for this? <laughs> hey! 11. Okay. You gonna try to talk to the Baby pines? Max. Hey, big trees. Oh, look. Hunters. Don't worry. Don't worry. Daddy, I'm scared. Oh. Which one of those? Okay. I don't want them to hurt us. I got bad news, guys. Oh. Now, these trees, yeah, very much alive. Um. Yeah, the paper oh, said so. depressing. Yeah. Kind of kids. Kind of makes sense, smaller trees. What do you mean, kids? There's only one kid voice. The other one oh, still sounds one like a, the only other one sounds like adult male and adult female. All right. Well, yeah, that was a kid. So we're going to nuclear family and all this that out to uh, mom and dad. Tree. I don't want to do this anymore. I'm going to drop my end of the saw. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Aw. Does feel a little bit weird. Y'all know any jerk trees that are about the same height as that other one? Like any trees who are real assholes that y'all don't like? Well, no, we're, 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 we're all just happy Christmas trees. N none of us are really jerks or anything. I mean, the it's furs, enough. there's the furs, but I mean, oh, who, 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 likes tree a, racism who, now? who likes a fur? Ooh, tree racist. Uh-oh. Well, then let's go get ourselves a fantastic fur, then. Uh, Gino is the only one. Me. Gino is the yeah. only one that can hear them. Okay. Yeah. Gino, can I ask you a very personal question? Can you talk to trees right now? Uh, yes. I can't imagine what it sounds like to you guys if it's not just words, but yeah, um, these trees are very much alive. How did you learn tree? They, I, it was in the paper. It, it was in the paper. <laughs> but, um, magic. Magic is bullshit. But living things share language. So, safe to assume. I don't know. What was it with cocoa? I don't know. Last time I accept cocoa from a man on the side of the road. I really hope there weren't times before this where you accepted cocoa from it on the road. That's like the third time. It doesn't happen a lot. The, 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 the snow starts back up. As Janet says, that's the last time I accept cocoa from a man on the side of the road. Snow instantly starts. Oh. He did nothing wrong. I am going to finish this cup, though. Yeah. I'm already You're in just it. Just being friendly. Being helpful. Uh, please, please, yeah, please, 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 did y'all not know what we were doing? I gathered as we went <laughs> how we got the pit, so. Hey eh. man, all the, all the trees that I had growing up were cruelty free, all right? I doubt it. Trees are living things. At least that's what I was told. Everybody has a very narrow view of reality, but yeah, I trees are very much alive. So. You know what? Your point of view is so revolutionary, Gino. Time to get chopping. D no! Gino takes Jesus a swing. Christ. No! Is Gino oh, take a swing? <laughs> Sarah, tree, Sarah right? would you like to protect someone? <laughs> There's plastic trees at Walmart. That's not what I promised. Uh, 
this is the first time you guys are hearing about a promise, by the way. <laughs> yeah, that's we that have those long, face. but <laughs> just curious. Who'd you promise? You promise. The thing in your tote. What thing in my tote? Wanted the thing that wanted a pine tree for Christmas. What thing? Oh, that's in your tote. Casey. What? It's in your tote. What thing? <laughs> The thing in your tote! What thing were you talking about on my tote? I don't know. Little hand? You're taking advice oh, from hey. a little hand in a tote. Not even advice, it's taking requests. Yeah. Making deals. Did it threaten you? I don't understand. No. Did it say it had to be living? It said it had to be pine. What? Why do I care the trees? Somebody just. Somebody just. I don't. <laughs> That's two for team, I'm done with this. <laughs> two for team, this is taking too long. If you select that, Janet becomes the villain. <laughs> what villain? I don't speak tree. <laughs> you could. <laughs> you speak tree. Ugh. How do you speak tree? Magic it's is magic. Bullshit. Yeah. Oh, of course. You find the root of the common language of all things that are living. You tap into that energy and you share that energy between things. It's not that so much talking. very it's namaste. Kind of... nam 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 yeah, nam in a lot of ways. Yep. Oh. Either way. Go get chop the tree, Casey. We chop. Get your tree for the tote monster. Well, I, I need help with the saw. <laughs> Casey is holding a two person <laughs> saw. Oh my god. I'll grab the other side of the saw. He's like, I can't do it by myself. I am guiltless. I am walking away. <laughs> I'll grab the other side of the saw. <laughs> I'm not walking away from the grip, just away from these trees. Mm -hmm. And Gino, <laughs> Gino, as you stand there, Casey and Janet start. <laughs> The We're screams, the screams of the trees. <laughs> Only you can hear it. Yeah. <laughs> No, please stop! You're killing us! Stop! Don't do it! Why are they doing it every, every year? Every year! My wife! My wife! How dare you! Get your hands off her! Man, watch out. I mean, you're taking too long for this. No, okay! Alright, thanks for all the time. Slide away. Take it too long. <laughs> it's like, I need you to get you to stop. Mom! <laughs> Mom! 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 They don't die immediately. We got some time. Uh, <laughs> here we go. Fun. Uh huh. Yep. You get the tree down. Alright. Well, that wasn't so hard. <laughs> <laughs> Count these rings real quick so I don't think about it. Don't let it settle. <laughs> Ooh. What about the rings? Ch are we done? Should I blow the whistle? I believe so. <laughs> ten out of ten. Ten out of ten whistle oh. roleplay. <laughs> oh. Uh. <laughs> And from down the path, you hear and bells jingle jangling as as mm -hmm. a group of six tiny people and one reindeer pulling a sled come into view from coming up the path. This reindeer? <laughs> and that is one reindeer pulling a sled. <laughs> the reindeer from before? To come back? They all look the same to you. Wow, reindeer reindeer. <laughs> <laughs> it's an allegory. Uh, the, no, it's the, a reindeer. The six little people, led by Candy Cane, surround the corpse of the tree. <laughs> they start chanting and it sounds sing-songy, but you don't really understand the words. But as it does, like, beautiful netting and ribbons start floating off 
off the wagon and wrapping and the tree levitates off the ground spinning as as beautiful Christmas ribbon like wraps and surrounds there the gold trim seems to glow just the slightest bit before it hovers over onto the sled and boom Okay. Nothing untoward happens to you guys. So you guys all like head back down, and you make your way back to the the tree farm where there's Welcome already the, this Ashley Jesus, <laughs> the dead trees, and sitting there, oh, sitting there, <laughs> uh, you can see as on your approach, there's Casey or not Casey Jasper, like p flicks off, flicks away a cigarette, I'm like ah, all right, good hunt. Look at you guys, mighty. <laughs> Oh, we lost him. Did we lose Chef? My oh. freaking cat walked across my keyboard. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jen, you're in charge. <laughs> you're, you're in the big square. Oh, a jumble. Oh, damn. We were too are slow. And everything's fine. <laughs> oh, I was Eno. Oh. Oh, man. We almost had a jumble. Oh. All right. I was like, uh, ah, the mighty hunters returned from their time out in the hunting the live trees. How was how was it, guys? Did you did you enjoy enjoy that? I mean, everyone was a little weird about it, but it was fun. How did it's you uh, the floating the floating in the tinsel? Magic, Christmas magic. What are you talking about? Uh, we were just offering you you some assistance instead of you having to lug that big tree all by yourself. And it is appreciated. It's just I mean, nice and bound up for you now. Now you don't got to worry oh, yeah. about uh, 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 about uh, any of the bad stuff that could have come from it. That's excellent customer service. I didn't read about it that on Yelp, but that's okay. I'll, I'll be sure to leave you five stars. We are glad that you appreciate uh, our our Christmas tree service, ma'am. You guys sure you don't want permanent snow? Uh, no. They can no, put we don't need snow on the tree. Some people like pe some people like snowy trees. Some people like normal tree. Like Casey, what is the thing the tote want? A pine. Saw it told me. I think we're good without the snow. All right, all right, all right. That's fine. That's cool. That's cool. Uh, we'll go with uh. Hmm. How then walks up, pulls out like measuring tape and is like measuring the tree and ah, uh, we'll call we'll call it we'll call it an, an even four, four hundo. Mm. Takes out a cord. <laughs> Put plugs in a little s square device that's shaped like a Christmas tree. <laughs> <laughs> Pulls it up for you to swipe, Janet. The four hundred dollars, uh, correct? Uh -huh. so, four four hundred. Four hundred dollars. Experience. Yeah. Okay. I mean, we can put it back if you don't want it. Oh no, we got it. I just want to make sure it was four hundred dollars and not like four hundred thousand dollars. No, four four hundo hundred. These people are clearly very reasonable. They're not gonna rip off a little old lady. We would never. Would you? Never. Would you? Well, little old ladies like you are how we stay alive. Got any tips uh -oh. for how to set it up? Oh no. Uh, well, uh, that depends. Like, if you're trying to like keep it living longer, or like trying to like triage, I guess you could say. Uh, you know, you want to make sure that the base. <laughs> a tree joke. Triage. Oh, a tree joke. <laughs> <laughs> got all kinds of humor in the biz. Oh, yeah. Goodness. We got so many jokes. Anyways, uh, you know, like put put the put the trunk in some water, like okay. uh, dra dra drag it on towards its inevitable demise. But you know, like that's if you wanted to be a little merciful. It's cool. Uh, obviously, don't put it next to the fireplace. You know, very very combustible. Yep. And if you're going without our snow package, make sure it stays kind of dry. Okay. Otherwise, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Christmas to you too. Yeah. Yeah. Here's your axe back. Oh, thank you. Oh, yeah. And the saw. We gotta give that oh. back. Oh, oh yeah. okay. Thank you again. Uh, hands you the axe back. You might want to hold on to it in case you know, like it gets a sudden swell of life or something. It's been known to happen. Oh, oh. 
Okay. But, I, but I, I will need. I, I, I'm keeping the two two hand boy though. Like the, the, those are. Oh, gosh. All right. Yeah. All right. <laughs> and like, go go on go on get and the reindeer like without being led like goes to Janet's van, the only car in the parking lot. <laughs> and the elves do their little chanting again. And the tree levitates, <laughs> places itself neatly down. The Christmas ribbons lash out, attaching itself to the roof of Janet's car. See, we do provide tie-ons. Hey. You know, this about. is a weird one. This is a weird one. Mm. All right, there you are. Thank you. You're very welcome. Merry Christmas again, friends. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. If, if, you Merry need Christmas. Another, if you need another tree for like a great room or something, you know, some families, proper families will do like a Santa tree and a family tree, but you know how to find us if you need more trees. Yes. Sure do. Yeah. First stop. He just slowly climbs back into the car. <laughs> yep. And as you drive back down the way, you'll hit another patch of snow, giant blizzard for like a minute or two. You're back on the road. You're back in your nice, happy little suburb. The radio clicks on. Rocking around the Christmas tree. Have da, 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 da. It is pitch black <laughs> night when you come out yeah. of this blizzard. Slams on the brakes. Oh. You all right? I mean, first of all, I'm not that good at night driving, but second of all, wasn't it just daytime? We were in the winter wonderland. Basically. You say that like it's supposed to explain anything, but it doesn't. We weren't here. Man, it, you know what magic is. I mean, I've seen shows. <laughs> magic is bullshit. So I was a big fan of the David Copperfields back in the 90s. You made the entire Whoa, Statue church. of Liberty disappear. The whole thing, gone. Renegade Angel. You can always hide his wings. He is still on the loose. They have a name. Mm -hmm. And I can tell you how we did it, too. <laughs> Driving home. You drive yep. home, no consequence, nothing bad befalls the van or you. <laughs> <sighs> you know, the way that little man was talking, I thought for sure something bad would happen on the drive home. But here we are. <laughs> Oh, fully. Hope the tote monster's happy. Oh, so Parks the car. <laughs> you know, you hear a van pull up into the driveway. Fine. I get up, walk to. I'm assuming there's a garage door too. Yeah. Okay, I go to the garage door to open it. Hi. Giant Ooh. gash missing out of Eno's face. Oh. Did you fall in the bathroom again? Help him right there, bud. Or right there, man. Do you actually want the answer to that, or do you want what I'll tell Janet? I'm, I'm, I'm right here. Like that. So. Yes, I know you are and you saw me teleport out of your car and show up at your house, and yet, right now, the only question you have is, did I slip in the bathroom? Not, how did you do that? Where did you go? Did you slip Nothing. in the bathroom? Are you getting an attitude with no. me? Okay. Yes. Ooh. I don't appreciate that. No need to be rude Christmas says. The last okay. time you got hurt in my house, you fell in the bathroom. Now help us get this tree inside. <laughs> Are you sure you want to do that? 
Yes, the toad three. monster says we need a pine. Yes. Maybe Christmas I, tree. I walk out and close the garage door behind me. Okay. I had a word with at least some of the entities in this uh, in this home. Which one? Well, the one that did this was... No, which word? <laughs> was it I the one that, I gave I you? I love that joke throwback. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, because nothing has been clarified. Okay. There are only more questions. If anything, it is... There's always questions. There are more questions. Things are muddled. I think that's the word I'll use. But you can have that one if you want to use it. I can have it back? Anyway. <laughs> there are a legion of elves on a shelf that one of them did this after I tried a lengthy negotiation to get him to let go of my face. Um, let's see. I have reason to believe your house has been invaded by it no less than a dozen individuals from another plane of existence. Very snowy, very muddy boots, no respect for closing doors after they leave. And apparently whatever's in your house truly hates who I work for to the tune of a lot of sharp Christmas ornaments falling around my head, shoulders, and one ramming into my foot. How do they know who you work for? I told them. I'm an angel. I don't oh, hide dear. it. Puts a How hand on their you, shoulder. How did you tell them? Pat, pat, in a, pat. In the standard angel way, in a loud, proud voice, oh, okay. trying to get them to stop throwing things at me. Well, well that makes that. sense, then. Do it. Janet. You okay now? Except for this massive gash down my face and the fact that apparently teleporting out of a moving van doesn't do anything to convince the per the one person I actually need to believe me. Because Casey, he doesn't believe me. He's never going to believe me. I've, I've made my peace with that. But the one normal person I have nearby... Rude. Who actually... <laughs> Where's the lie, Casey? I'm very normal. Bullshit. Okay, honey, it's a question. Us. And it's well, an important man. question, so I'm gonna ask it slowly. Are you ready? Oh, crap. Not really, but here we are. Why does it matter what I think? As has been explained to me very clearly, by the other Denzians of your home, human belief is what makes something real in this context. Yeah, same real to me. Pat, 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 pat. <laughs> Do you know my full name? The angel Eno, I don't... In Eno Seligna. That's actually... I don't know any Seligness. Sorry. I'm sure you come from a long line of excellent Seligness. No, I don't. There were no before me. I have no descendants. I am one. I am the physical manifestation of a thought of a being that exists outside of time and space as anyone other than perhaps the greatest minds of this species could comprehend. Can't imagine why they throw things at you. <laughs> I didn't I'll so. tell you right now, I am far from any of the greatest minds. Hey. I think I'm pretty great. I thought the only person moving stuff out of your van. <laughs> Janet, is there anything I can do short of Pulling out a halo, a harp, and flying. Yeah, that would make you believe you. <laughs> with the yeah. car. You know, I don't know about that, it's but I can tell you what would help. This. Yeah. If you say unloading the car. I was going to start with stop trying so hard. 
<laughs> a rousing round of killing Goku. <laughs> but then, you know, help unpack the car. <laughs> You're part of this little family. <laughs> Who cares what's what? Yeah. There was a ghost. Gino's a wizard. I don't. What? Who told? Bell Slinger. <laughs> Casey and Gino, as you, Casey and Gino, as you open the door and head your way back inside to Janet's house, as Eno has declared that he stepped into the garage with y'all and closed the door and everything, it smells of nice, nice fireplace fire. It smells warm and Christmassy. All right, let's keep this away from that. Has that just been running since we've been gone? And, and you know, starting fires. It, it smells like, it smells like chestnuts. Hmm. That's the best. I don't care who you are. All right. There's a lot of candles. I'll go check out the fire for a second. Yeah. Fireplace, nice happy Yule log. L little cast iron pan action. It's glowing red hot, but there's it's full of full of chestnuts just roasting. Ooh. On an open fire. <laughs> well, that's nice. Nose. Everybody cover your nose. Okay. Hmm. Hey, no, did you start a fire? No. How long has oh, been no. going? What's on fire? I oh, it's in the fireplace. Know. Roasting chestnuts. Hmm. Casey hmm. and Gino, as you're standing in this living room before the others get here, from Casey from the tote. Mm-hmm. Yes. What did I couldn't hear you? Yes. yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Right. Cool. I make no note of it. I make no announcement of it. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I'm in here. Yeah. Die sharp. Seven. What are we sharpening for? Uh, to see if I hear that. You do. You can't uh, tell where it's coming my... from, but you hear. Yeah, it. I was about to say. You hear it because it's, because it's mixed success. You hear it, but you don't know where it's coming from. Yeah. That's your guy? Yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> and are, are we setting up the Christmas tree? Yep. Yep. All right. Uh, you guys, uh, are we are we adding water? Yes. Yeah, what he said to do for merciful. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Not prolong it. <laughs> it's close to Christmas anyway. Mm -hmm. That's not an important note for later or anything. Don't worry about it. It's fine. All right. Uh, you you put down one of Janet's newly acquired tree skirts. Mm-hmm. Uh, as you get the tree in place, one of the ribbons lashes out and strikes Gino. <laughs> take Damn a harm. Take a harm. <laughs> you can thank oh, Colin. Man. You can thank you can thank Colin for that. Oh, 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 yeah, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> for Cino. <laughs> and uh Yeah, are we setting up any decorations on said tree yet? Is that where we're gonna spend our night? Yeah, I'm gonna start decorating tree we're gonna move on to the house <laughs> you're, you're, well, yeah. the, we're, we're, we're focusing we're on the tree, the tree. we're, we're focusing on, on the tree, tree right now and yeah. as you go through totes like you know you find like the strands of indoor lights for the trees boxes of of balls and other decorations Janet, what kind of decorations would you have for your tree well just counting the ones i already had and not the 400 i bought at hallmark store uh-huh you know the classics. You got some little 
glass bowl you guys she got like gingerbread made and then there's probably like two dozen that are like family specific like weird inside jokes mm-hmm. like a, a thomas the tank engine a d- chimney a swan some the green one, beans the, the hand the hand ones that kids and grandkids the clay make. Hand we got that closed pen rain there oh for sure at least four of them and yes. you o- and you open up open up one tote casey mm-hmm. and sitting there is this lovely angel tree topper and it just gives you a wink <laughs> okay get to go yes put it on the tree beautiful <laughs> And then there's all the ornaments that I picked up for everyone, too, that Janet told me to get. Aww. <laughs> and you all guys will have a home. nice, calm, quiet pre-Christmas night as you continue setting up the inside of Janet's house now. Yep. And I'm going to ask, can we make those cookies sometime? Of course! <laughs> We're going to get changed into jammies. I'm pretty sure I have, like, 42 pairs of jammies in these bags. We could change it to jammies. We have some cocoa. We'll make cookies. It'll be nice. An excited childlike smile. Beautiful. I should point out you have a message by the phone. All right. <laughs> Go and Someone look at the call. message. Also, the HOA came by. In case it comes up later. Are our lights off? No, I had just plugged them in. Oh, thank you. That's so smart and thoughtful of you. They asked if they could help me. I said no. Did you they say nicely? Tenet. Said no, thank you. Good enough. Janet, you checked the note and Eno's written you a Christmas, uh, uh, a Christmas carol. <laughs> <laughs> Did you come up with this yourself, dear? But specifically, it says you've been naughty. (laughs) Did you come up with this yourself, dear? (laughs) No, as I said, somebody called and I wrote down what they said. Okay. If you're going to be so upset about it, I believe you're an angel. Do you feel better? Can I empathy check that? Is there a role for empathy check? Uh, Janet, are you lying? A, a little. Kind of. So, Jan- kind so, of. so Janet, I need you to roll me manipulate someone. Nice. <laughs> The highest I've rolled all night. Excellently <laughs> success. For another hunter. Well, this is a seven. You know, you can choose to believe Janet and gain an XP. <laughs> or not believe that Janet thinks you're an angel and don't get XP. Don't be Seth. <laughs> what changed your mind? I've seen some weird stuff today. Before the dialogue goes, you need to make your decision. I, I, that that was the only question I had. Uh, I'll believe her. Okay, give yourself an XP. <laughs> Christmas present. I believe in her. I believe in her belief. Ah. Uh. Tina was talking to trees. I saw one float up. I, I know she's lying. Like <laughs> day to night. Say so, wait. Do you say that out loud, Casey? No, no, he did not. Okay, <laughs> okay. I was like, no. Yeah, you. Also, you have a Star Trek. Uh, 
ornament? Yes. Oh sure, I got the um. What is it? The the interpret the enterprise. Enterprise. I know it was the enterprise because it was written on. It was had it written on the top as it was flung at me earlier. May I say you have a very pointy taste in starships? Oh, that's my husband's Phil. That's Phil's. I don't watch. I don't like the spacey alien stuff. It's just. It makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> what part of my work makes you uncomfortable? The, those skin tight uniforms and the exploring other cultures. It's all too much. And the ray guns and such. <laughs> Just wow. <sighs> What bothers me is that Jensen control the shorts, so I know that that won't ever be one. Right? <laughs> All we gotta do is just clip it like 50 times and twitch. It's the person. All right. Somebody get on it. <laughs> um. We're wrapping up. I'm gonna tell the tree, I like, need, just don't I worry. To... Send you back. But... I'll, show, I'll show you the parts of my work that I think you'll like better. Sure, whatever you want to show me. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> phrasing. Go oh, phrasing. Go back to phrasing. Bring it back. If there, the... was any, if there was any subtext, Janet clearly doesn't understand it. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so, <laughs> boom, done. <laughs> it wasn't before, but now. <laughs> uh, so that was uh, episode three of Season Speedings. Yay. That this 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 came that this one continues to be a true treasure. <laughs> I'm having such a fun time. This is such a Seriously. ridiculous game. Oh, I love, oh, it. I love it. it. So good. Oh man. Whew. Are you proud? <laughs> I am. I am. I, I am. And I didn't explain to my players one of the mechanics that's happening in this game. Uh, I will reveal that once it's finished. Things, especially things that happened today, will make a lot more sense once that's explained. It's a secret mm -hmm. thing tied to this, tied to this stuff that's happening in this small little hamlet, village, whatever we want to call it. Uh, I had a blast. I always have a blast. Mm -hmm. I'm yeah. sorry that I was dragging a little bit earlier, uh, trying to find the groove as I deal with this sinus head cold situation. That's fine. It's fine. It's but we got there. Got but we got there. Mm -hmm. You guys got to see my most menacing NPC to date. Mm -hmm. And Too it was deep. glorious. We got uh, to witness some family trauma. <laughs> Sarah, who made your night tonight? Uh, I love playing with all of you, but we're gonna give it to Jen tonight because the freaking granny antics I absolutely freaking love. Um, the freaking I'm gonna blow the whistle. Toot. <laughs> Toot. Toot. <laughs> it's like a little foghorn. <laughs> uh, you know. Oh, I got. Good lord, this is tight. Uh, I gotta give it to Brad. <laughs> just, Heck, for, yeah. just for just for the sheer we're in a winter wonderland what part yeah. of this do you not get live trees <laughs> come on I love playing him like he knows oh, everything God. like no matter what Matt throws at me like duh like he looks at everybody else like why didn't you see this <laughs> I love it I love it <laughs> yeah uh Casey Oh, uh, Gino, uh, not Gino, Eno, sorry, Eno oh, for, really? sorry, Eno for just like walking around the house, talking to himself for his, for the most part, <laughs> just trying, <laughs> trying to reason with the elf on the shelf who just stares at him <laughs> unblinkingly, just like, so I'm blinking. <laughs> look away, <laughs> look away. It knows better than to look away. No, you need to look you, away. You look away. <laughs> it was on my face. It was when you're not looking. <laughs> it's the whole rule. Seriously. Gino? Oh, man. Brad scooped mine. 
Okay, oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's tough. There's so, there's, oh, yeah. there's so much there's so much good stuff in this game. Oh man. Just... <laughs> I did appreciate <laughs> Sarah just refusing to participate as soon as Gino started like, yeah. Yeah, that's like the mom. That's like the little kid one. This is gonna be a rough one, guys. <laughs> we still doing this? Oh, I'm not doing this anymore. I don't want to do this. It's not fun anymore. <laughs> I didn't say. I didn't I'm not say the group. it didn't happen. But I almost just flung two birds and just whipped around and pouted in the snow. <laughs> and Miss Miss Janet Ford. Oh, buddy. I I wanna I wanna say uh, Gino. We're just diving in, knowing full well he was just gonna hear the tree screams. <laughs> just the blood curdling tree screams. The whole thing. Hang out. Too long. Hang out. I, I love that it started and it was going slow, and then Gino just tagged in. It's like, oh, we gotta do this faster. I can't keep listening to this. <laughs> uh, guys, that was a blast. Uh, this Christmas special has been all that I wanted and more. Uh, but if you enjoy our crazy shenanigans, maybe check us out over on Discord. Uh, we now have signups for the first games of 2024 happening now. It is between Highlander, ran by Jen of Thieves, that is one Janet Ford, uh, an X-Men themed superhero <laughs> campaign. It's going to be very angsty, very 90s, called Excelsior, run in the masks system, which is a fun system de devoted more towards identity than it is mechanics and stuff. And uh, and maybe a, a a random werewolf games coming back for a part two. What? Where and okay. guess 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 what? All of the OG oh, back what? is coming back. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. So yeah. What, so so there there is still there's <laughs> still a slot open, and that we will be deciding who gets to join and whatnot. Space off the sign up form, but all of those ratchet teenage t werewolves are coming so back excited. in Rise of the Phoenix. That Perfect. would be... De so we have the triumphant return of Deadly Ambitions and the Bat Sam, who yes. are going to be coming really? back, as Yay. well as uh, Brad with No R, Pierce Power Tough, and Jen of Thieves. Oh, my God. Uh, the OG werewolf pack is back. Yes. With a new, so exciting. With a new friend. <laughs> So we will see oh, yeah. what we'll see what happens with that. But uh, all of, all games are open for sign up, and yes, and let's see here. Uh, YouTube, if you would like to watch uh, all of our stuff, if you want to see the crazy Christmas shenanigans that have happened so far, or check out our other games like uh, Vampire: The Masquerade Fifth Edition, uh, our Welcome Home Old Gods of Appalachia game, as well as so so many other games that we've done over the past year and some change. Uh, head over to YouTube. YouTube is where we have everything edited down, all nice and neat for you. And of course, Patreon, we have new stuff coming up, uh, as well as awesome new merch and things. Uh, you can see a preview of this, the, not this season, last season's merch bundle is now over as a post on Patreon, and a wonderfully taken photo with red velvety background and stuff. Uh, so yeah, uh, that is all of our stuff. Guys, I hope everybody has a fantastic work week, and we will see you on Friday with more Vampire the Masquerade goodness. Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> come hang out with us in Discord, <laughs> uh, or, you know, just shoot us messages, sign up for that sign-up form. If you do make your way over to Discord, it's in the announcements, and we will see you next time. I hope y'all have a fantastic week, and remember, Daddy loves you. <laughs>